Yes, Anna Green Gables speaking to the audience that it was. Yeah, it, for. Th I mean, they took it to their hearts, but I did not know then that it was already such a beloved book in Japan. And in fact, I had had trouble getting the publishers to go out of the original novel to get behind this production because they said it'll make no difference to the sale of the novel, whatever. Right. They had no idea. I didn't have any. And then um, uh, that went on. I didn't like the London production, uh, which Alan went over to do, to direct, and they took Johnny Fenwick and his music, and Barbara Hamilton went over to do Marilla and won an award for it and so on. But uh, the, the producer was Toby Robbins' husband, Bill Friedman. And I thought he had no real grasp of the imagination uh, involved in it. For instance, instead of Mari Lawford's wonderfully evocative set, which was really Anne's dream of what she saw of, uh, of Green Gable, uh, everything was abstract. Uh, and instead of that, uh, the London production reduced it to a solid, naturalistic house in the country with, with fake stone uh, base and all the rest of it. And uh, I didn't think it was nearly as good, but it was a big success there. They flubbed their opportunity taking it in New York by taking it into the old uh, city center, which is a barn, an absolute barn of a place. And it, it was stripped of all its warmth. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you can't do that to it, really. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was badly stretched, I thought, even in the O'Keeffe Center. A show that's really human at its base, that's not the kind of, it's not a spectacular show and there's no use pretending that it's a Broadway show of that kind. Right. But uh, no, Anna's gone on to uh, triumph after triumph. It, during this centennial year, when it first toured across the country, and again, most Canadians don't know this, it earned more than all the other drama shows put together, than the Royal Shakespeare coming over from Britain, all the companies that came from everywhere touring the country, little old Anna Green Gables trumped them all. Mm 